okay so um deadlock and starvation so this is a dedicated you have a dedicated chap chapter to deal with deadlocks um but here why they have introduced is consider the scenario where p0 and p1 process two processes are there and this is the execution sequence if this is the execution sequence you can see here weight of s weight of s could be successfully executed and entered into critical section only when process um, uh, weight of q and only when process q is executed sorry method is executed here is here also if weight of s you want to execute only when process p not execute signal of s in the sense p p not also enters into waiting state so that it releases uh, the critical section p1 releases the critical section but p1 cannot release the critical section because it is waiting for p not to release s semaphore so both p not and p1 will be waiting to re, uh, so that other releases the critical section but none of them will release because both are waiting for other process to release the semaphore or the critical section so when both are waiting that waiting will last for a longer time resulting for a state called as deadlock okay so when p p not is waiting for p1 to release but p1 is waiting for p not to release none of them will complete because both are waiting for each other that waiting will be prolonged so that they both enter into a state called as deadlock okay now this has to be addressed that addressing will see in chapter next chapter called as deadlock okay how to deal with all this situation we will see next what is starvation is like uh, this both the process are not executing their critical section right so they have an infinite blocking so that infinite blocking ends up in the starvation state that is nothing but starvation in the sense like if anybody is hungry if you are not giving food they they will starve right like that only if process 1 is hungry but it is not getting cpu time to execute or, or critical section segment then it is starving if that prolongs then it will enter into deadlock state so that we'll see in the next chapter so that's just a bit introduced because in this critical section problem also during process synchronization stage we may enter into while solving we may enter into deadlock state and starvation that also has to be addressed that's the main criteria why they have introduced that topic in this chapter next is we have some classic uh, problems of synchronization what is this classic why it is called problem as problem is called as classic because they have listed some three set of problems like bounded buffer problem reader writer problem and dining philosopher problem so that this problem could be used as a protocol if we come up with the solution for synchronization we can use this problem and run our solution on this if that if that solution uh, succeed on this problem then we can judge the synchronization solution whatever we have designed is good enough or we can go there should be a real time problem to test our solution right so we can take this problem as classical problems which would be used to test our solution okay so we will see what are this classic problems bounded buffer problem reader writer problem and dining philosopher problem so one second <clears throat> 